Hi, I'm Dan from Dissum, and today we make some perfect punches using the Dissum Bullseye on some Alec Bradley cigars. See how. Today we're going to run through the Dissum Bullseye, available in three colors. Gunmetal, gold, and brushed stainless steel. Now if you take a look, here it is relative to a key fob. Now this is a key fob to the Lincoln Navigator, so it is a rather large key fob. As you can see, it still fits pretty well on here. It is not intrusive, and it comes with a premium Dissum insignia keychain, which you can see still receives the fob very well. It can spin around, so you're not going to have any issues whether you have a bigger fob or a smaller key fob that you're trying to attach it to as your carrier. Now, let's jump into the features here. Now, as you can see, it's a standard looking 11 millimeter punch with the exception of the center there. As you can see, it has two depth settings and you'll see a center awe start to come out from the center, which actually protrudes two millimeters beyond the cutting blades. Now, what that does for you is it's gonna allow you to have a center draw hole that pokes in through the cigar that will give you more air volume that you can draw on than any other standard punch out there. Now this is a patented system and at the two depth settings it still works very well. It'll also allow you to perfectly center the punch before actually committing to the punch cutting blades on the cigar if the cigar that you are cutting is actually thinner in diameter. So Lastly, it acts as kind of like a picker to whereas when you pull it out of the cigar, the center all will catch the cigar cap and it will be located at the bottom like a little frisbee, which will easily come out to make for the cleanest punch that you have. Now let's jump in and test this puppy out. Now just so you guys can see it closer, I used one of the models without the key fob attached to it so it doesn't block any of the views while we're taking these videos. So as you can see, this is the brush stainless one, two depth settings, the center all pops out. Now we got some cigars given to us from our friends over at Alec Bradley. So let's go ahead and punch away. I'm gonna go before I commit, I'm gonna line it up here. And as you see, it goes in. Just use a nice small twisting motion to get in there, nice and slowly. Now it's all the way in. Then I'm just gonna pull it on out. And as I said, look at that nice, clean, deep punch right there. And I didn't center this one perfectly because I'm also looking through the camera lens here. But if you look, you get the little frisbee down now that's super clean right there. Let's do another one. I'm gonna put it on the deeper setting. I'm gonna try to do a little bit of a better job of lining it up for you guys here. Okay. There it is. Gonna go nice and slow. Just gently side to side. Now it looks like I got it in there all the way so I don't crack the cap. Yeah, that's a little bit better, okay. Look at that, and you see that nice defined center draw hole there. This is about as close to an actual cut as you can get with that center draw hole, because some of these cigars are kind of bunched up towards the lower part of the cap, and that'll help get through that. Now let's take a look. As you can see, another nice consistent little frisbee right there. Now let's do one more. Try to line it up for you guys. Gently go side to side here. Did not do a perfect job. But as you can see, I didn't crack the cap. Got the nice center draw hole, real nice deep cut. And again, perfect little frisbee. That's three for three. It's a really nice punch. Like I said, it looks great. It's got a real quality ratchet action in there and a nice deep punch.